Marius, who is 64 years old and an annual taxable income of 551,762. So here we can see that um, the, tax, the income is already annual and it's already taxable income. So during the tax year, Marius was not a member of any medical aid fund. So there'll be no tax credit um, discount for him. So below shows the table tax table. So let's just quickly check from why he earns more than this amount. He also earns more than 305. He earns more than 305 and 8851. He earns um, more than the maximum here. He, more, he earns more than the minimum, he, but he does not earn more than the maximum here. So he falls under tax bracket number four. And I think the first question says, identify which tax bracket Marius falls in based on his taxable income. And the answer there is tax bracket number four. Uh, calculate the amount. Calculate the amount of tax Marius must pay for the 2019-2020 tax year five months. So now we must calculate his tax. Um, in order to calculate his tax, we first need to get the formula to calculate. And that is, it says tax is equal to. We said it's tax bracket number four, so it's 100,263 plus 36% of taxable amount, uh, or taxable income above. And let me check, let me make sure I'm getting the right one. Four, two, three, three hundred, right? So now we just have to substitute which one is the unknown. We are calculating tax. So we have to substitute there. Tax is equal to 100. It's, this one is part of the formula plus, I'm going to say 36 divided by 100 is 0, 0,36 multiplied by, which is off, taxable amount. What is his taxable income? His taxable income is 550, uh, 1,762 minus that amount there which is 423,300 right so now we say tax is equal to then we are doing the calculations first we're going to start here and say this minus that which will be one two eight four six two and then we're going to say tax is equal to 100,263 plus times 0, 0,36 and then we say 4624.32 and then we add those together which is equal to 146,509,32 to subtract the tax rebates uh, let's check his age again he is 64 years old so he, we are going to subtract only he's under 65 so he falls only under primary so his tax rebate will be minus 14,220 and then that will be minus 14,220 will be 132,289,32 then on the next question, Mario stated that if he had been one year older, he would have saved more than 600 rand monthly on taxes paid during the 2019-2020 tax year. Verify showing all calculation statement. He says that the money that he's paying towards tax would have been um, less by 600. So he says he would have saved 600 which means minus 600 so let's first check how much is his monthly tax so 51.3 he ends 132 he's supposed to pay 13289.82 so if we divide that by 12 we'll get his monthly tax in cents that is going to happen 
that's how much he's going to pay at this age now he says if i'm just a little just just a year older i'll pay the reason he's saying if i was just a year older is because in there when we calculated his income tax we minus only the primary because he's 64 but when he's 65 we're going to minus he's going to qualify for secondary as well so let's go back and minus the secondary as well so what we're going to do is we're going to go back and say his tax is supposed to be 164 at 64 years old now this is for 65 years old so 146,509,32 is the amount he's supposed to pay before the rebates then now we suspect the rebates this is for everyone and then this is for people who are between the ages of 65 and 74 75 so we minus 7,000 it says there the secondary rebate is 7,000. So we're going to minus the secondary as well, 7,794. And then they, 32. So that's how much he's going to pay per year. And then we divide that by 12 so that we can compare it to that one. And then we say divided by 12, he's going to pay... So Morris is considering joining a medical aid fund. He plans to include his wife and two grandchildren, determine the total monthly medical tax credits he would qualify for if he joined. So it's going to be him, his wife, and two grandchildren. It's going to be him. He's the main member. It's going to be his wife, his first dependent, and the two grandchildren will be on uh, both each independent additional dependents. <laughs> credits will equal to so the medical credits is him his wife and two grandchildren both grandchildren and they so it's going to be one to be him his wife his grandchild and another grandchild so they said we must calculate the monthly it says they, they calculate the monthly so we're not going to multiply by 12 in this case him who is the main member 310 plus the wife which is 310 first first dependent plus each but first um additional member which is 209 first grandchild second grandchild 209 1038 1038 rands